Welcome to the Oceanography lesson. Answer the questions in your packet as you watch each lesson. Lesson 1, the sea floor. If you were to travel through the ocean in a submarine, the first thing you would notice is the cold black water all around you. As you are traveling through the darkness, you might find that your lights are reflecting off a large underwater mountain range. Or you might find a huge opening in the seafloor, so deep you can't even see the bottom. But that's not it. You will also find the following important features. Get ready to answer the questions that are in your packet for Lesson 1. The Continental Shelf is a gradually sloping end of the continent that extends under the ocean. Basically, the part you are walking on when you are swimming in the ocean. Please label these items in your packet and write down from each of the dashes gradually sloping end of the continent that extends under the ocean. Pause the movie and start it again when you have finished writing. The continental slope starts at the shelf and then a steep drop connects to the ocean floor. Label this on your diagram and write down the definition of the continental slope. Pause the movie and start it again when you're ready. The abyssal plain is the flat sea floor, some of the deepest parts of the ocean. Label and write this definition for abyssal plain. Pause the movie and start it again when you're ready. Seamount is an underwater inactive volcanic peak. Pause the movie and start it again when you're ready. The mid-ocean ridge is an area in an ocean basin where new sea floor is formed. Label this ridge. Pause the movie and start it again when you're ready. Here is a description of This is the subduction zone. As lava pours out, it cools quickly and hardens into seafloor. While new seafloor is constantly being formed, 2.5 centimeters per year, it is also constantly being destroyed as it gets pushed under and into the mantle. In some areas, called subduction zones, old seafloor slides under another plate and is forced into the mantle where it will melt. This is what you need to write down. Old sea floor slides under another plate and is forced into the mantle where it will melt. Pause the movie so you understand subduction zone. A trench is formed at the subduction zone. A trench is a long, narrow, steep sided depression where one plate sinks under another. Volcanoes are formed here at the edges. Finally, turn your packet over because these are the steps. You'll need to put these steps in order. How new floor is formed. Large sections of Earth's crust are constantly moving. Label that one number one. As they move, the ocean floor changes. When ocean plates separate, magma pours out from inside the Earth. This forms a new sea floor, a process known as sea floor spreading. Pause the movie, label those steps one through four. Ocean trenches are longer and deeper than any valley on any continent. A famous trench includes the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Basin. Mount Everest could easily fit into this. That is the end of lesson one. Thank you for your time and your patience.